Hello, I'm Lisa Turlington, the Executive Director of the Sampson Community College Foundation. And we're here today with Friends of the Foundation, and I have Lyman Horn, who is the President of the Foundation Board. He's also the General Manager of Star Communications and wears a lot of hats in this community. But today we're going to talk with Lyman about kind of his history with the Community College. Tell us a little. Well, first off, thank you for the invite. It's, mm -hmm. it's always a pleasure to talk about this institution. And basically, it's because I've seen it from so many different angles. I've seen it from behind the desk as a student during summer school, trying to get mm -hmm. some you know, college credits yes. out of the way. Mm -hmm. Then I've seen it from the front of the classroom, uh, teaching for 13 years in the evening division, uh, microeconomics, macroeconomics, uh, did one semester of remedial math, mm -hmm. uh, but the majority of those 13 years uh, was computers and data processing. Sure. Very, very interesting. Uh, I will say this, I was really struck by the students that come here. They really want to learn and want mm -hmm. to better themselves and that's what they were doing coming out here at night and sitting through those mm -hmm. evening classes. Um, also one thing you didn't know is I came out here and took an evening division class in auto mechanics years ago, actually rebuild an engine, huh. yeah, in auto mechanics. So I've seen, and now being involved with the uh, foundation now for about 15 years, I've seen a lot of different angles of this mm -hmm. institution. And let me tell you, everyone I've seen this institution from has been good, mm -hmm. has been good. From behind the desk to in front of a classroom, to now serving on the foundation board. It's all been good. Mm -hmm. And also as a business leader, you see students coming out and so you're able to see firsthand how well prepared they are for the workforce. Absolutely. We have been a benefactor uh, of this institution. We have, we have employees that have come through the programs here at Sampson Community mm -hmm. College. And let me tell you something, they are people that are dedicated. They want to better themselves, they want to enter the workforce, and, and contribute to the community. We have been very fortunate with the people that we have hired that have come through the programs here at Sampson Community College. Um, we probably need some more sometime, but not right now. Well, we'll, we'll put in a request <laughs> for that, but it does seem like you've sort of come full circle as a student, an, an instructor, and now as a business leader who is hiring a lot of our, our graduates. So you really do know what you're talking about when you stand up for the... So I'm an authority? I think you are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't consider myself an authority, but uh, but seriously, I have seen the the... the the school from inside out, mm -hmm. and it all looks good. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk around a little bit on campus and let you tell us some more about your your relationships with the college too. Right? Sure, actually, uh, the young folks say it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Again, I'm Lisa Turlington. I'm here with Lyman Horn. And Lyman, you've told us a little bit about your full circle with the college from being a student to an instructor to a community leader. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with the foundation. Oh man, the foundation relationship has been absolutely excellent. Uh, I've served on the foundation, I guess, for about 15 years now so. and served in various positions on the finance committee. Uh, also uh, fundraising co-chair and now I'm president of the foundation board and it has been a joy, it has been a true joy to provide opportunities for those people that are seeking education that maybe can't afford it. Um, and it's been a lot of fun with the other board members, raising money, doing stupid things, telling jokes. You never had to eat beans, did you? No, I never had to eat Steve beans. Steve Stavanovich always ate the beans and you got the steak. Right, exactly. <laughs> But you know, when, when I think about it, there were a lot of people that sacrificed so I could have an education that never knew who I was. And I think now that I'm grown up, so to speak, mm -hmm. it's, my, More or less. it's my turn to step up to the plate and make sure that next generation has the same opportunities that I had growing up. Uh, the foundation board has been a lot of fun. And the money is a vehicle that creates educational opportunities but there's a message that goes along with that money for those people that are, are scholarship recipients. And it is somebody out there cares about you, cares about your future, cares about your education. And that's probably the most important message that that money carries. 
uh, aside from the actual educational opportunities it presents. Well, you've been very generous in, in scholarships for our students here. Tell us a little about the STAR and your family uh, endowment. Actually, yeah. Uh, STAR sponsors scholarships through the foundation. Uh, we feel like that our revenue comes from this community and it's our obligation to give back to this community and provide educational opportunities for people in our community. Um, also, uh, my father was very fond of this organization and particularly he was very fond of the medical community. Mm -hmm. He wanted to do something in his name um, that would benefit the medical community and would be local here. So he established an endowment uh, when he passed away back in 1991. He actually wrote it into his will that this money was going to go toward an endowment for the nursing program here at Sampson Community College. And that's been alive since 1991. And our family could not be any more pleased. And I know Daddy is very pleased that his name's living on and people are afforded opportunities that might not have them otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, and your mom's always at our Scholar Donor Cookout, and, and Ronnie and Dwight sometimes do, to meet the scholar at an event we have in the fall. That's you nice. know, that's a, that's a fabulous event, mm -hmm. and, and it's one that I always enjoy coming to uh, because it's an opportunity for those people that receive the scholarships to see who actually donated the money that makes those scholarships possible. It's a good chance for them to say thank you, but more than that, it's a good chance for the donors to say, you're certainly welcome. Mm -hmm. And we do that. And we appreciate it, too. Let's take a little break, and then we'll come back in a moment and talk a little bit more about our fundraising here at the college. Okay, Lyman. Over the years, you've worn so many hats for the foundation, and often you've been the annual giving chairperson or co-chairperson and still carry on a major role with fundraising for the foundation. Tell us a little about some of your experiences. That has been the most fun thing for me in the world. Uh, I actually danced. I danced a jig on TV. Mm -hmm. I think we got $500 because I told a joke, and then I danced, and Steve had five people said they'd give $100 a piece. Mm -hmm. And it was a clean joke, and too. You're, you're I, actually a smooth dancer. We need to get you to do that more often. Well, I didn't think so, but at any rate, um, in terms of fundraising, we have four major pushes through the foundation, and it starts off initially uh, with our fiscal year with the campus drive. And one of the things we're very proud of, we have 100% participation in the campus uh, fundraising drive. Uh, let's see, after the campus, it is the phone -thon. Well, our fall season goes from the campus drive, and as you said, we really are proud of our staff and faculty right. stepping up 100%, and then right away we jump into the golf tournament. Golf tournament, so, right, and then... Uh, it starts and, a sponsor for the golf right, tournament. Right, right, and then we go into the phone -thon, which of course we had to delay this year because of the weather, mm -hmm. And then after that, we go into our community phase of fundraising where we actually reach out to individuals in the community and ask them to support the foundation and provide educational opportunities in our community. Uh, we did a little bit different this year. Uh, we're taking a more personal approach with our fundraising. Uh, we are making personal pleas to people to support the foundation. Uh, we've done a lot of fun things. You already mentioned steak and beans. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, I've, eat ste I've had steak. Uh, Steve's eaten a lot of beans. He has. But he's done it in a very good way. Well, we and he always we looks so nice. We have gourmet beans. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've had pretty good beans. But before my time, y'all did the turkey. Remember somebody got the Tom turkey? That's right. And, you know, that's negative reinforcement. I kind of like positive reinforcement. But then the beans is kind of... Well, then the beans are kind of, well, that's positive reinforcement because they're good beans. Mm -hmm. Well, it is. But that's been a lot of fun. Uh, being on the foundation, being in, in the uh, fundraising uh, co-chair position or annual, annual giving co-chair position and then being president to, to uh, kind of help with the entire organization. Mm -hmm. uh, I've kind of come full, full circle and I don't regret one minute. Not one minute I've spent doing work with the foundation. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you, and we'll take a break and walk around a little bit and then maybe let you talk a little bit about how the, the role that the college plays in our community. Okay.
And I'm Lisa Turlington, back with Lyman Horn. We've been talking about his history with the community college and his passion for raising money and helping students. And, and I want Lyman to tell us a little bit about how he sees the role of the college in our community and, and what it's able to do for the citizens of Simpson County. Absolutely. Uh, this institution fuels this community with good employees. Uh, we have training in specialized areas, of course, nursing, basic law enforcement. But one of the most interesting things about this organization is if business requires specialized training, the college will actually put together a special class or special curriculum to address those needs in our community. One of the things that's going on here uh, that we're particularly interested in is the IT certifications. Right. Um, we are looking for certified network people in our industry and we don't have it in our job descriptions yet, but at some point in time they're going to be in there as requirements. So to get your foot in the door, particularly in terms of networking, you're going to have to have some certifications under your belt to even qualify for any of our networking jobs. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course the scholarships that STAR awards go for people who are planning to transfer to a four-year school. Right. And so that's a big role that we play. With. And we've actually had employees that have come through the programs here at the community college that have gone on mm -hmm. and attended night uh, classes and, and gone ahead and gotten four-year degrees. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very pleased with that. So sometimes it's not an end. It's actually a springboard to something else. But mm -hmm. they got their start right here at Sam's Community College. That's and that's what's important. That's true. And of course you mentioned the scholarship set up in your dad's memory who, right. for nursing, which right. is an important part of, um, you know, we supply a lot of the nurses to our hospitals and, and the And what's the, graduation, um, what's the graduate, graduation rate? Well, of our graduates, we have 100% passing on the board. 100% boards. passing mm -hmm. on the board. I really think that is that. an admirable record. Mm -hmm. And I think you've, you've taken continuing ed classes with the, the automotive that you mentioned earlier. That's right. So there, there's some, and I, you know, I took a sewing class right before Callie was born and thought I was going to sew all my baby clothes. And I didn't. How'd that work out for well, you? Well, I learned how to sew, but I didn't sew all my children's clothes. Well, I've rebuilt several engines since then, so it worked out good for me. <laughs> Well, but we do have a lot of classes in photography and art and so many things that you can take in the continuing ed class and, um, and I would encourage people in our community to take a look at options. And I'll tell you something very interesting. When I was doing computers and data processing in the evening division, mm -hmm. we had three sets of students come into those classes. Mm -hmm. We had students right out of high school that knew a lot about computers to start with. We had the middle-aged student that was just trying to keep up for work. Then we had the senior citizen that just came out of curiosity. What's going on with these computers? What can That's they right. do? Mm -hmm. It was very interesting and a challenge. How do you keep the young folks engaged without losing the middle-aged or older students? What I would do is I would pair them up and let them work together because some of them came, came to those classes didn't even know how to turn a computer on. Mm. And of course some had been using computers for, you know, years and years when they were in school. So it was a very interesting environment, but it was very, very enjoyable. And we want people to think of the community college as a place for lifelong learning and it is our community college and we hope that people of all ages and of all interests will continue to look at opportunities out here. You know, I learn something new every day. I believe it. Last week I talked to a guy that had a sleeve tattooed on his arm and he said a tattoo artist calls that the ditch. And it's the hardest part to heal when you get a sleeve tattooed. So that was very useful information. Well, I can see how that would be, and I know that you have studied the Chinese calendar. Oh, yeah. And it's the year of the goat. <laughs> there you have it, Lyman Horn, president of the Foundation Board. Thanks, Lisa.